Send to Amazon is the new user interface that Amazon will eventually switch everyone over to. Currently, when you're listing through Inventory Lab, since we use the API, it's always better to select Return to Old Workflow. This is so that you have the editing ability that the old workflow offers. However, sometimes it might happen that you find yourself in the Send to Amazon workflow by accident, or you may be there by choice, but have errors in your box contents. In those cases, it used to be a bad thing since you couldn't edit and send to Amazon and correct the situation. So this meant you had to fill out the web form manually and send to Amazon or download the Excel file, fill that out, and then upload it to enter your box contents for that shipment. Not so bad on a small shipment, but when you have a lot of items in that shipment, it can be very time consuming. Using the send to Amazon export, you can correct these issues without having to start over with that batch or shipment. So the process is fairly simple, but how you discover if you need to use it is when you go to the Send to Amazon page, instead of having box contents already entered, it's asking you to pack individual units. At this point, like I mentioned before, you'd have to either upload an Excel sheet with all of your box contents or fill out their web form. So that's why we created the Send to Amazon export. Um, takes all that work out of it and makes a fairly quick process out of it. You just click on pack individual units and then it's going to ask you how many boxes everything in one or multiple so we're going to select multiple i want to make sure i select upload excel file and then enter how many boxes generate that excel file and then click there to download it i'm going to switch back to the list and prep page and find that same shipment which I already have here. Click on the menu and select export box contents. Initially it'll bring up this modal kind of demoing what I did in the send to Amazon page right here. I also have your shipment here so you can confirm that's correct and also the copy icon in case you need to do that again. But we've already done this process so I'm going to choose file And I'll select that export from Send to Amazon and then upload template. And now it tells me that it's ready to upload to Send to Amazon. So I'm going to export that and then move back to Send to Amazon. I'm going to upload the file that I just exported. And that will be this file with the shipment ID send to Amazon and step 1B template. Now you do not need to have Excel to do this. We do all of this for you in the background. We've added everything from box contents. So don't think you need to have another spreadsheet program if that's not what you're currently using. So I just upload and then I'm waiting for Amazon to verify that uploaded file. And then once they do verify it, you'll see here, packing information provided via Excel file, and then I can confirm and continue and purchase my shipping. So you may run into the issue where you do not enter your box weight and dimensions through us and you do that in Send Amazon. However, you do need to do that for this process to work. So in case you didn't do that for the shipment initially, we will ask you to do that again. So for example, I've been to Send to Amazon. I've already downloaded the uh, file and now I come back and get my export box contents choose the file and then I go to upload the template and it's telling me that we are missing box weight and dimensions for one or more of your boxes Amazon will not accept a template without that data so we need the box weight and dimensions in that template before we can fill it out but to correct that, very easy. You just click Update Box Contents, go to that same shipment, Transmit Updated Boxes, and then fill in your box weight and dimensions. And then Submit. Now that I've done that, I can go back, Export Box Contents, choose that file, pick the same file, upload it and now I can use that template 
because I've filled out the box widening dimensions. Very easy fix. Okay, so what happens if I discover I actually need three boxes instead of two, or some other configuration in the number of boxes due to packing? So I haven't confirmed my shipment yet, purchase shipping or any of that. So what I can do is restart the process. So what I'm going to do is restart here in Seller Central. Now if you're already past this point and you're at the uh, point where you're picking your shipping date, all you have to do is go to step 1B, click View Edit, scroll down here and click Restart. So I still need multiple boxes. I still need to use the XLS form. But now instead of two boxes, I need three. So I'm going to generate another Excel file and download that. And then come back here. I've already created the third box. I just got to redistribute from my current box contents. Assign. And now I'm going to transmit updated boxes. And so I need to put that in and submit. Remember, when you're transmitting updated, you will get an error from Amazon uh, that we'll talk about in the next chapter. Uh, but you can disregard that. But at this point now, all I have to do is export box contents. And it's ready to load. So export. Go back to send to Amazon, upload and validate, select that file, remember it's the one with the shipping ID, send to Amazon, step 1B, upload. And once uh, Amazon has verified it, you'll see here, three boxes, and then I can continue. So that works for changing the distribution of items uh, or number of boxes, that sort of thing. Uh, it doesn't work for changing quantities of items or adding new items to your box contents. Another scenario where you may want to update is before you've actually uploaded and validated the file. So in this case, you don't need to re-download this file. All you have to do is go back to uh, Inventory Lab. And you can see I've already added the third box. So I'm just going to transmit updated boxes. I want to make sure that I've filled out that third box again. And since I have, then I'm going to submit that. And then what I'll do is export box contents, export the template, and then come back in and upload an adjusted file. And you can see that it will have, depends how many times you've downloaded it, but the last time would be the number here. So you can see I've done this three times. So that would be the last one that I did. Upload it. And once it's validated, then instead of two boxes, it should show three. And that's what it does. And then you can continue uh, to purchase your shipping. So it's possible during the process, you may also encounter this error, very common and it's not something you need to even worry about, you can just go ahead and clear that error. It's uh, due to the fact that you can't currently edit and send to Amazon once you're there. So it will generate this uh, error message, but it can be disregarded. Well, that's it for the export box contents process. I hope this is useful for you. And if, of course, if you have any issues, reach out to support.